We came up short, but I leave office with my head held high. After speaking to a cable TV channel this morning, Mayor Lightfoot later in the day delivered what she called a farewell address. She said she did what voters wanted her to do when they elected her four years ago. Our political editor, Mike Flannery, has more. Although more than 83% of Chicago voters rejected Mayor Lightfoot's bid for a second term, she held an hour of triumph and celebration late today. My administration has been victorious in our efforts to plant seeds of equity and, and serve the city we all love so much. Lightfoot points to the pandemic and big increases in criminal violence as reasons for her defeat at the polls. There were certainly times when the sheer number of challenges mounted on top of each other brought me to my knees. Among signal achievements of her four years, the mayor cited raising the city minimum wage, focusing federal COVID relief in predominantly African-American neighborhoods, and winning approval for a future Chicago casino. The mayor also mocked critics, including some former close allies, who said Lightfoot verbally abused them in four-letter word rants. One that I intone every time that I needed to rise above the noise and despair. four-letter word was spelled H-O-P-E. There's just one week to go before Mayor Lightfoot leaves office next Monday. That's when Mayor-elect Brandon Johnson's due to be sworn in at a late morning inauguration. I'm political editor Mike Flannery.